What's up guys, Brian here representing Neo Overlay Network and today I got a Danger Dark World profile um, for you guys and if I'm being honest it's probably like a rogue tier deck but um, I think it can do a lot of cool stuff this format and make some noise so without further ado guys let's get on into it. We're going to start off with the main deck today so we got three Grapha Lord of Dark World. He can be special summoned when, no, he can be special summoned by bouncing one Dark World monster you control back to your hand and that's any dark world monster but when he's discarded you can pop one card i think on the field that your opponent controls and yeah and that's pretty much it that's what he's used for um not a hard ones for turn that's the main thing to know about this you can do some crazy crazy plays with him but he's pretty much um a brick in hand but since you're playing a lot of dangers he does flow well with the deck so you run two three can be bricky so but two but if you want to choose to run trade in in this build you can i chose not to but yeah so we run two of him Two Grapha, put them over there, right there, to the side. Now we run three Snow. Some people run two, some people run three. I like three because she's pretty much a searcher for the deck because when she is discarded, she lets you add a Dark World card from your deck to your hand. So you can choose to add Grapha if you want or any other Dark World card like the Field Spell or the card that lets you draw or, like I said, any Dark World. And yeah, and since Mermill might be a thing this format, they also have some cool effects that when they're discarded, it lets you, um, when they're discarded by your opponent's card effect, um, it lets you do some interesting plays like for instance snow She lets you special summon one monster from your opponent's graveyard onto the field And then Grapha lets you special summon one monster from your opponent's hand onto your field when he's discarded by your opponent's card effect So there's that so we run three snow. She's pretty good um, She can't get cloggy, but you have to run her three for consistency Then um, I run three brow huntsman of the dark world He's pretty much like a pot of greed when he's discarded by a card effect you can draw a card and he has great synergy with the dangers and very very powerful um Card in my opinion, and then he's level three, so he lets you do some pretty cool um, rank three plays if you choose to run rank threes. And then we run three of him for consistency because he lets you draw. After that, I run one beige vanguard of dark world. I was running two because he is good at two. He gets you a free level four body on board when he is discarded by a card effect, and then he's a great target for Grafa because you can bounce him when he's discarded, uh, bounce him from the field onto the hand, summon Grafa, and then normal summon him. So then. He comes back twice, not just once a turn. So very, very powerful card. You can run two, but it depends on your uh, locals too and what you're, who you're playing against. So for right now, for this build, I'm running one, but you can't bump it up to two. Then we're going to the dangers, danger jackalope. If you don't know what dangers do, um, here's the rundown. You can reveal them in your, you can reveal, reveal, reveal it in your hand, show it to your opponent, and then if this card is not discarded, you can, you can draw a card. That's what all the dangers do. If they're not discarded, you can draw a card. But um, when they are discarded, they have their own unique abilities. For instance, Danger Jackalope has the ability when he's discarded by a card effect, you can special summon one danger monster from your graveyard, I believe, in... No, from your deck, yeah, in defense position. So yeah, that's what Jackalope's effect is. You can special summon one uh, danger monster from your, deck, um, from your deck in defense mode. And he's at one for a reason because he's pretty broken. And then one Sushkanoko because he's at one and he's discarded. He special summon, and then when he's not discarded, you get to draw a card, like I said, where all the dangers do that. He just comes back, and he's level 3. So like I said, you can do some pretty cool rank 3 plays with Shuskanoko. Plus, he's probably like one of my favorite dangers. And then one Nessie, because might be the best one, as some people say. His effect is when he's discarded by a card effect, you can, special summon, you can add one danger monster from your deck to your hand. Let's go ahead and check that out. Is it that? Yep, so he's at 1 now because... You can do some pretty degenerate plays with the, with these guys, but yeah, at one. Then I run two Chupacabra because he's pretty much the monster you're born for dangers. When he's discarded by a card effect, you can special summon one danger monster from your graveyard in whatever position you want. So we run two of him, and he's level four, so I like to do some rank four plays in here. So we run two Jack uh, Chupacabra. Then three Mothman might might be one of the might be one of the better dangers for Dark World decks in in general because. When he's discarded, you get to draw a card and discard a card. When that happens, it lets you trigger any of your Dark World monsters effect. So we max him out. We run through him for consistency. And he helps just, you know, do so many plays with this deck. So we max out on him off that. Then we run three Thunderbird. Um, I mean, three Thunderbird. Two Thunderbird. Um, might bump it up to three, but right now it's only two because don't really use his effect too much to pop a uh, back row. But, um... It does help here and there, and he's level 8, so you can do some rank A plays if you want to go for that option. And there's that, so it's his effect. And then when Bigfoot, the level 8 3000 beater of the deck, we run 3 him. Probably 
the guy that helps you OTK the most out of all the dangers just because he's so strong and big. And then when he's discarded, you could uh, target one face up card your opponent controls and destroy it. That's his effect. Thunderbird just lets you target a set card, which kind of sucks, but his kind of sucks also, but it has to be face up, but it's unique. Now we're going into the one ofs. Um, we do run Union Carrier to Zex, so we do have the Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. Since almost all your monsters in this deck are dark, if not all of them are, um, really easy to get out. Then we run one we run one black wing Zerefro the delete. Um, he just lets you bounce the danger back uh, from your field to your hand so you can keep using them over into the grind game and just really, really just annoy your opponent more than anything. And then his effect is only once per duel, which when he's in the graveyard, you can pay 500, you can pay 500, 400, which one is it? You take 400, you pay 400, you take 400 points of light point damage to bring him back from the graveyard and special summon him. And he's a level four, so once again, lets you do some cool rank four plays. Then I do run the righty, lefty, and jet synchron package because it's pretty much something you're gonna need this format because Alky Fiberx is a thing. And then it's a one card Apollosa. So lefty driver is pretty much the counterpart to righty driver. And righty driver says, if this card is synchro, you can uh, this card is normal summon, you can special summon one lefty driver from your hand deck or graver. So it doesn't matter if you hard draw it or if it gets discarded because righty driver brings it back. So right here, tuner, non-tuner, Hockey Fiberx, bring out Jack Synchron. You guys know the combo by now. If not, go check it out on some other channel. If not, we might do one, but I suggest you guys learn it. It's pretty easy. Then we run into, now that's it for the monsters guys and the one ofs. Now we're gonna go into the spells and traps. Um, we run three, there can only be one awesome floodgate because you don't control more than one type. Um, this is this is a really good card in uh, Dark Worlds because, in Danger Dark World for that matter, because it's just an awesome floodgate and your opponent's gonna have to waste some resources just outing it and if they don't, that's pretty much game. So we run three of that because we have two. Then we run two Super Poly because we have Verde Anaconda in case. And then you run all dark, so you're gonna get super poly. If not, um, congratulations, you don't have to deal with it. But when you do, you're gonna wanna see this card in your hand. If not, you're gonna wanna wanna go into Verde Anaconda to break some boards. And this is primarily a going second build, by the way. So when you when you are making this deck profile, just know that it struggles going first. So when you are forced to go first, make sure your side deck is well equipped to go first if they make you go first. But this is primarily a second going build. So we run two of those guys. And we run three Allure Darkness, um, pretty self-explanatory. Draw two cards and banish one dark monster from your hand. And if you can't, banish your whole hand. Uh, banish your whole hand. So we run three of those to help with consistency. The whole deck is extenders, so just keep that in mind. And then I don't run Upstuck Arblin. I don't like it in this because it gives your opponent 1,000 light points. And then this is, to me, a little bit better. Granted, the requirements are harder to meet, but let's get into it. The card's name is the beginning of the end. If there are seven more dark monsters in your graveyard, you have to banish five of them from your graveyard to draw three cards. It can be a brick in hand, but late game or mid game, this got this card is amazing because what card lets you draw three cards? Oh, I ask you. Comment down below, let me know. But yeah, run that guy. And then card destruction because God card, when you resolve this, usually you win, especially in online when I resolve it, it's pretty much GG. Then uh, one gate to the dark world, um, the field spell for dark worlds. This card states that all few monsters you control gain 300 attack and defense. Attack and defense, so it helps you push for game and OTK. And then once per turn, you can banish one fiend monster from your grave, discard a fiend type monster, which lets you therefore trigger your danger chupacabra if you do discard it, or any of your dark worlds to draw a card. So, yeah, pretty much you're going to be drawing two cards if you have uh, certain dark worlds in your hand. And then one dark world dealings. Um, I had this at three and at two, but it mostly helps your opponent instead of um, hurting them. So I only played at one now, and then I was running into it where like that draw kind of helped them out, and the discard helped them out. So only at one, um, yeah, that's it. And then we run for the hand traps, three ash, and three call. And that's it for the hand trap, and then just three call buys because you have to, and just cover all your bases. Obviously, you would want to change it up for something else if you need to. Nibiru, Effect Veiler, I don't know, Droll, TD Crow, whatever whatever your locals is dictating or whatever online play is uh, dictating, obviously change it up. Now let's get into the extra deck. We won, run we run one Link Rebo for the lefty righty, lefty righty um, package, one Red Anaconda, one Union Carrier for the Dragon Buster Destruction Sword, one Hockey Fibrax, one Cerberus for pesky monsters, one Phoenix for certain floodgates. One Saryuja, because it's very easy to make Saryuja in this deck. One Borosaur for OTK. 
Appaloosa because again, lefty righty is a one card Appaloosa. Number 60 Garris. Okay, here's the interesting rank four that I like. He has three effects. He takes two level four monsters and you have to detach both materials from him to activate one of these effects. First one is uh, you can skip your next draw phase to draw two cards, then discard one, which helps trigger your uh, dark worlds or your dangers. And then the other one is, second effect is skip your next main phase, special summon one monster from your graveyard defense position, which helps you extend. And then third one is skip the battle phase of your next turn to double the attack of one monster you control, which again helps you for OTK. And like I said, we bring a lot of be beaters in this deck. So he's a really good card in this deck. And then one Abyss Dweller because possibly the best rank four of the format. Tornado Dragon for more back row removal, just in case they have it. Just in case you run into a back row heavy deck. One Dingirsu for the best rank 8, probably the only rank 8 you need to run in this deck, but you could run the Photon Package or whatever else you feel you need to run. And then one Predator Plant, Dragos Topalia, and then one Starving Phantom Fusion. And that's pretty much it, guys, for the extra deck and the main deck. Um, really, really fun deck. Um, the thing I like about it the most is that no game is going to be the same because every game is going to be different because of just the randomness that the dangers have. But um, that's pretty much it, guys. This video is already going on 12 minutes. Um, this is Brian with Neil, Neil Overlay Network signing out. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And let me know what you guys think of the deck or what you guys would, what you guys would change for it. And this is Brian once again signing out.